Hello everyone. Ah, today this video will keep content, keep talk, keep on the one D kinematics. And last time we show you the the kinematics is just discussing the relation, discussing the relationship between the position, velocity, and acceleration. And last time we just introduced the concept of coordinate. Okay. Because we need coordinate to define the position, okay, and then and we have, once we have position, we go to velocity and go to acceleration. And this video, I'm going to show you the, the concept or definition of the velocity, okay. Um, so regarding to velocity, there are two terminology relating to the velocity. One is called average velocity the other is called average speed and this book use the the notation for the average velocity is v bar okay okay then the the higher um, the hyphen the horizontal line above v is called bar okay v bar okay the bar means average okay and average speed um, i call it s and it's average called s bar okay and what's the definition of average velocity it's a displacement divided by time interval this ah displacement <laughs> displacement divided by time interval time interval and what's the average speed? Average speed is travel, travel distance divided by time interval, interval. Okay, so we see the average speed and average velocity and their definition is a slightly difference. Uh, once one is related to delayed displacement, the other is the, the other is the travel distance. So what's the difference between them? Mm, okay, let me adjust this. Okay, ah, sorry. Okay, and let me write down further. Okay, for a displacement in this book, displacement in this book I like to use the rotation called delta x and the uh, time interval is delta t and uh, i personally prefer write a delta x um write a delta x uh, sorry write more detail on delta x i like to x xf minus xi okay and xf is the final position final position and xi is initial position, initial position. That's why position is very important because once you have position and then go to, and then once you have final position and initial position, then you have displacement. And displacement divided by time interval is called average velocity, average velocity. Okay. Okay, so, and let me draw a picture for you to, to discuss, to show the difference between displacement and travel distance. Mm, let me draw it. Mm. Uh, for example, if I, I start from, start point from I, start from point from I, and I go through a lot of trips, I go a trip, and this trip is very, very, very winding. <laughs> okay, okay okay and then i reached point f okay so this is displacement you, uh, if you understand this understand the definition this is the ah uh, so <laughs> shit <laughs> ah this is two three four ah okay this is displacement this red line this red line is displacement, 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 ah, sorry, that's not in fast space. And the black color, this is travel, travel distance, travel distance. So you see, 
the displacement only cares about your position and your position at initial position and final position, nothing else, nothing else. Initial and final position, nothing else. He the, the uh, displacement doesn't care about how 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 wide how wide how wide you travel. How wide how wide you travel? No, no, no. It doesn't care about the process. It only care about initial point and final point. It doesn't care about your process. Actually, this is this 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 happens a lot in physics. Yeah, it's, so physics is very cruel. You only care about your initial position and final position. And, and the, the process doesn't care. Okay, so this is the difference between the displacement and the travel distance. Okay, so and the next one. Uh, uh, okay, the one thing uh, we just uh, make a, a uh, we just uh, make a, a note here, and you uh, what's the units of uh, average uh, uh, average velocity, and you you need uh, if in MKS system it's distance divided by time so it's second meter meter divided by second there's a mks system unit system, mks unit system and so uh so and next one i use the uh, uh the textbook use the one example to show the displacement travel distance what's the difference so and uh, okay let me draw this example I should use the PowerPoint or I use the PowerPoint or use the okay. Let's use the PowerPoint. <laughs> it's much easier. Okay. Okay. So um, let's see. The test we raise the example said said okay. You you are initially you rest at home. And then you went to a you went to a pizza shop to buy a pizza, and then we return home. And okay, the, he asked the question: During the zero to thirty minutes, what's your average velocity and your and your average speed? Okay. So, so. During the time duration, zero minutes to thirty minutes, okay. Uh, what's your uh, what's your um, average velocity? And I said the, the definition of average velocity is the final position, final position minus initial position, and divided by time interval. And the time interval now is thirty minutes, okay. So, in the final position, uh, you return home. So position is zero, okay. And your initial position, you start from at home, so another zero, and divided by thirty minutes, so your average velocity is zero, uh, between the zero to thirty minutes. And the other, what's the average speed? Uh, the, the denominator is the same denominator or denominator. Okay. <laughs> I'll check this now. Okay, so so and uh, what's the travel distance? Because the uh, average speed relates to travel distance. The travel distance we need to uh, be careful travel distance because uh, the pizza place is ten kilometer away from your home from, from your home. So so you travel ten kilometer here and then another ten kilometer here. So it's twenty kilometer. Okay, so it's three over two kilometer and minutes, and and now we we now do a little unit conversion here, make a practice, uh, in which we want to translate to meter per second. Okay, so kilometer is ten to the power three. Yeah, in the prefix section we introduce that k k means ten to the power three. And one minute equal to how many seconds? One minute is sixty second, right? <laughs> so and then we calculate uh, to mm -hmm, divide by 
divide 3 divide pi into 60 so it's 1 11.1 right mm -hmm. I um, yeah I I'm really afraid I calculated wrong so <laughs> okay so it's 11.11 okay let's uh, and let's do um, that's the wrong answer to the, the, the one digit. So, okay. Okay, so that's the difference between the average velocity and average speed. And I asked another question, okay, uh, it's easy. So same, the same, the same chart, but I asked it during the 15 to 30 minutes. What's the, what's the average velocity? okay during the 15 15 to 30 minutes okay the final position is zero okay and the 15 minutes at the 15 minutes your position is 10 okay and then divided by 30 and units km minutes so it's 3 over minus 1 km over minutes Okay, so that's the V average. So and then, and what's the during the fifteen to thirty minutes? What's the average speed? Average speed travel distance. You travel ten kilometer, no problem. Uh, thirty minutes. Okay, so it's equal to three over uh, one over three kilometer over minutes. So you you can see that the velocity it, it can be can be negative, negative. It can be positive or negative. Velocity can be positive or negative. Speed always positive. Yes, yeah, speed always positive. Always positive. Always positive. Speed always positive. But average velocity, average velocity is it can, it can be negative because once your final position is smaller than your initial position, then it's become negative. Okay, so is it because of negative time? Uh, in normal situation, we don't have negative time. No normal situation. Okay, okay. So this video is the tell you the. Uh, definition of average speed and average velocity and that's pretty much about it okay so i just uh, stop the video here and we are going to next is next section is instantaneous velocity and we'll see you the next video um, bye 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 bye